from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, it's going to be a warm forecast in the days ahead through the weekend. If you like what you've had over the last couple of days, you'll love the days moving forward. Maybe a slightly better chance of some morning fog beginning Friday morning into the weekend. We'll address that day by day, but then strong front on the way. So as we take a look at the upper level pattern and the water vapor imagery, you can see we're under the influence of a big fat ridge of high pressure that's been dominating across the Gulf of Mexico and the southeast, making for summer like conditions here, but back to the northwest. It's a different story. It's winter. We have one upper level low that's swung around and that's aiding in and embedding some showers and thunder showers from Texas on northeastward, but then another upper level low that's going to swing on through more energy is going to dive down behind this low, which eventually will push a cool front through the area. So it is a uh, nation divided here with summer like conditions in the southeast and then you get on the flip side winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories from the northern Rockies all the way up through the high plains into Minnesota and then you go farther to the south a nice conduit of moisture some of this moisture coming from the remnants of major hurricane Otis getting into Texas and we'll see more of that in the days ahead meanwhile locally here we have a pretty tight pressure gradient high pressure to the east low pressure back to the west maintaining a fairly moderate flow of wind and weather across our area and a few spotty showers earlier today most of the action though this evening back across Texas up toward Oklahoma and power Doppler three here Acadiana's uh, Doppler radar here all quiet this evening, but we did pick up on one or two isolated showers today. Here's major hurricane Otis. It was a major hurricane at this time last night, 12 hours earlier. It was just a tropical storm. This is every meteorologist nightmare where you have a storm that goes instead of coming in as a category one came in as a solid category five widespread catastrophic damage uh, from all the images. I've seen coming out of Acapulco this evening. So a uh, terrible storm and most folks. So you're talking about several uh, about a million people, 700,000 to a million people not prepared for a category five. So a rough one there. Meanwhile, farther to the east we go. Uh, the models indicating something may be up in the Western Caribbean in the days ahead, uh, but no threats to our part of the Gulf of Mexico. And then we still have Hurricane Tammy out here in the Atlantic, a pretty powerful hurricane, but it's going through an extra tropical transition right now. 90 mile per hour winds and will not be a hurricane tomorrow, but it's still going to have hurricane force winds for a while until it hits a front and that front shoves it to the east. But nonetheless, tropical storm winds could impact Bermuda as we head toward the end of the week and into the weekend. Meanwhile, for us, it's all quiet on the western front. We're looking at temperatures back into the mid to upper 80s. Nice rains again over the next several days across Texas, but that's where they stay. Again, temperatures is near 70 at night and during the day in the mid to upper 80s. My might see an isolated shower, better chance Friday, but no better than 10%. Otherwise, it's zero to 5% each and every day. And this front off to the north of us will drift back to the north before we get that secondary push that we'll see showing up later in the weekend. That front getting here as we head into Monday. So 71 the overnight low tonight. It's going to be a quiet night ahead with a waxing hunter's moon out there. Then for tomorrow, we'll see temperatures getting back up to 87, perhaps 88 degrees, a sun and cloud mix and a nice breeze out the southeast turning more subtly as the day wears on. And as we move into the weekend, we see the big changes on the way with one a front on Monday that might bring us a few spotty showers, but don't count on much rain with this system. So that will be pushing on through as we head into Monday and then uh, pushing on through. We hope the clouds move out in time for Halloween, but Halloween's going to be chilly as very chilly air moves to the south and everything in purple here. That's temperatures in the teens getting as far south as maybe Oklahoma, northwestern Arkansas. So some very chilly weather ahead and going back to a full fall swing as we head into next week with lows getting down into the lower 40s. That's it for weather for now. We're going to have more coming up right after the break.